recording. Ooh. Okay. Let's talk about muscles. Welcome to my TED Talk. How you doing? I know this is weird. But I'm trying to learn, so enjoy. So over here, we have our forearm muscles. We have the biceps brachii, the triceps, the acromius, the brachialis, the brachialis, the pronator teres, the pronator quadratus, and the supinator, and the nerves, or biceps and triceps are musculocutaneous, and the nerves for antennas, supinator, and triceps, and antennas is radial. I might have messed up. Musculocutaneous is biceps and brachialis. I don't know if I said that or not. And that are the nerves for the forearm. And now we should go over the movements the forearm muscles make. So the biceps and biceps does elbow flexion and supination. Right? Shoot. Yes, I'm right. It's supination. Okay, and then the triceps extend your elbow. And then the antennas helps with elbow extension. And then the brachioradialis also helps with elbow flexion. And then we have the brachialis, which sounds very similar to brachioradialis, but the brachialis also does elbow flexion. So these two are very similar in name and in function. And of course, pronator teres and pronator quadratus. Um, do forearm supination, and then the supinator does supination. Moving on to our wrist muscles. Um, we have flexor carpial nerves, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi ulnaris, and these are on the wrist. The flexors are on the anterior side of the forearm and the extensors are on the posterior side of the forearm. Let's go over nerves. So, these nerves, let's see what we got here. Okay, so, flexor carpi ulnaris is the ulnar nerve and flexor carpi radialis, where is she? Flexor carpi radialis. Flexor carpi radialis. Is a median nerve. That was too long to read that face. Okay, so this, okay, and then palmaris longus, palmaris brevis longus is a median nerve as well. And then the extensors, all the extensors share the same nerve, which is radial. And the actions, the actions, okay, let's see this. Okay, so flexor carpi ulnaris is wrist. Uh, flexion and ulnar deviation. Uh, flexor carpi radialis is wrist flexion and radial deviation. Palmaris longus is wrist flexion. And then our extensors, um, extensor carpi radialis longus uh, is wrist extension and radial deviation. And then extensor carpi radialis brevis is wrist extension. And then extensor carpi ulnaris is ex wrist extension and ulnar deviation. And those are the wrist muscles. And then we go to the fun stuff, which is the extrinsic hand muscles. So we have an anterior and posterior side. Our flexor genitorium superficialis. Um, that helps with MCP and PIP flexion, two through five. So these muscles. And digitorium profundus also flexes the MCP, PIP, and DIP. So the profundus goes to the tip. And then the flexor pollis longus 
uh, Polygen's thumb. So this is thumb CMC flexion, NP, and IP flexion. And then extensor digitorium uh, is MCP, DIP, DIP extension 2 through 5. So these guys all the way to the tip. And then extensor Gigi mini me is MCP, I, PIP, DIP, fifth finger extension. So a little finger. And then extensor Indicus is MCP, DIP, DIP extension of the second finger, a corner finger. And then extensor Paulus Brevis, well, yeah, Paulus Brevis, as thumb CMC MCP extension. And extensor Paulus Longus um, is thumb CMC MCP extension. And then abductor Paulus Longus is thumb uh, abduction. And Pretty much the difference between these two is brevis means short, like the little one muscle, and longus is a bigger muscle. So, good news. Let's go over the nerves. So, the only, the, all of these muscles um, use the radial nerve, as we can see. And the flexors are the two flexors up here, digitorium superficialis and digitorium profundus, use the median nerve. And the profundus also use, uses the ulnar nerve. Okay. And now we have shirts at the end, which is on another day in class. But I am studying this because, you know, I'm to you know, get it today. So we have our flexor pollis brevis, which is thumb MCP and CMC flexion. We have our abductor pollis brevis, which is thumb CMC abduction. We have our uh, opinus, I don't even know how to pronounce that, uh, pollux, pollus, which is CMC thumb opposition. And then we have our um, abductor pollis, dorsal intercosy, uh, palmar intercosy, uh, Lumbricals, flexor digiti mini, abductor digiti mini, and opponus digiti mini. I think it's just opponus, I think is how you say. Um, and these do it kind of, this one adducts the thumb. Um, the dorsal intercosti is finger MCP abduction for this, and the palmar intercosti is finger MCP abduction for this. And the lumbricals are MCP flexion DIPIP and DIP extension 2 through 5. And of course, the middle fingers are either all the pinky, mini me, pinky. So we have our flexor digiti mini me, which is like this. And then we have an abductor digiti mini me, which abducts, like abducts. And then it can oppose, which is the pronia and the digiti mini me. So those are the actions. And let's go over the nerves, shall we? Let's see. So flexor, all right, so all these, these three in the femur um, space uh, use the median nerve. Median nerve. And uh, I think all these, okay, so all the rest use the ulnar nerve. And I think that is about it for today's insertions and origins. Did y'all have 